Hey guys, this is Band Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Crusader Kings 2, and this is episode 253 of our Long Live the King playthrough. We are, of course, Felkir Sigurdar Ring, Insane Immortal District Ruler of all of Scandinavia, etc, 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 and we're at war with Panja. So let's just get into that. A uh, quick check of all of our armies, just in case somebody's left it, because they tend to do that because they're assholes. Some of them did, don't know why. Bunch of pricks. There we go. Alright. So we got some uh, stuff on the way, some crown jewels on the way. Hopefully they're pretty good. But we'll see when they get here. Expected. Here we go, crown jewels are here. We've got the crown of crows and the sword of heroes. So there's a Sword of Heroes, a bit of Prestige, some Opinions, and there's a Crown of Crows. Again, Prestige, Opinions. Pretty nice. Um, when our wife croaks it, we're probably going to trade the Sword of Heroes to um, the Shun Emperor. In return for a bride. An Imperial Marriage. Because that will give us prestige and a peace treaty. And we'll be able to get um, honor guards. And so it'll be like send an artifact. It will send um, the Sword of Heroes for 2,000 grace. Which is more than enough for a uh, imperial marriage. Good. Keep it coming. That uh, was that one there, and that was that one down there. Very nice. Oh, kidnap a few people. We're now at 46%. Can create 59 titles. Most of them are duchies that I haven't been bothered about. Duchies and empire titles. I don't see any kingdoms on the list, so I think we're good. Hmm. Sigurd got pregnant. Oh dear. Sigurd. I swear I'm going to disable the seduction focus next time I play this game. For NPCs anyway, that's just ridiculous. Everybody's fucking everybody. Like, come on guys. Hire someone to find out. Come on. Okay, that's that one down there. Very nice. Oh. My rival. Is that so? The country of Istria, huh? Well, it's high treason, buddy. You're getting imprisoned. Now you can't sleep with any of my damn wives. Or concubines. I swear to God. Bunch of ingrates. Nope. Art of War is done. Use my study. More war. Okay, that's all good. Um, still a little bit more before we're advancing that. Do I want to increase tolerance first? The religious customs. This one doesn't really do anything for me. So I'm thinking tolerance. Yeah, we're a tolerant society of Vikings. Yep. 
Well, he's a leper, so we don't particularly want him hanging around the place. Hmm. And he's trying to throw this guy under the bus. Well, this one's pregnant. Good on me, I think. Oh, hang on, we've got a uh, peace offer, but also this one needs an education. Um, let's make you a diplomat. And zoom out a little bit and accept the peace offer. <sighs> Any moment now. Come on. Come on. I've got about 50 more years until the game ends, actually. Oh, no, no, sorry, I was reading the uh, wrong uh, wrong game's ending date. We've still got about 80, just under 80. Yeah, that's fine. That's plenty of time. There we go. All right, thank you. Uh, let's purge that infamy and get to work on distributing land. Now, I don't believe we can take the uh, Raj. Nope, still 59 titles. But we will have a castle which we can distribute counties based on. A single goddamn castle, so, you know, great. You. Yeah, you're pretty shit, but I don't really have a choice, do I? Um, yep, that place there. Grant. Done. Okay, what's the next one? It's not Verend, it's not Upland. Ongelo, that's that one there. That one there, yep. And lastly, Balconda. Perfect. All right, who's up next? So that was just Pandya. Well, I believe these poor bastards down here are up for one. You are led with no one good. You look kind of new. You're not. Shame, Delhi's still at war with at least one other, at least two other people. Multan's winning, and that one's a neutrality. What are they actually fighting for? Holy War for Jangladesh, Holy War for Anupa. So those will be different things entirely. Um. And this revolt? Not really doing anything? Well, the revolutionaries are winning. So why don't we just come on over here and grab something out of these guys? Something out of Orissa. Am I the king of Maharashtra? Yep. So something out of Orissa. Well... Spice Roads, Spice Roads, where's the trade zones? There. We could take the coast. It's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, that one's probably more important. Is it already under attack? Prepared invasion of Orissa. Jal Tyke is um, on the money. 
So why don't we take like that little bit of land there? That's Panja. Well, if he's invading Orissa, which he is definitely doing, that means maybe that bit of Gondwana, because that would let us actually get... Uh, Alright, we'll play clean up. We'll take one of these little provinces. Uh, you can get up here. You guys can get up here. And you guys can come on down here like uh, that. We'll take the revolt and Shura. Should be fun. Yep. Child needs a guardian. Yeah. Okay. Seems alright. Come on. Thank you. He likes wealth. That's good. This guy is whinging. Is he my rival? Yeah, he's the guy who was trying to fuck my wife. In Violet he goes. Alright, first things first. You guys at war with anyone? Yeah, you're helping out Panja. Well, I mean... Kind of sucks for you, doesn't it? 13th of July. Alright. Now the question is, do I want to take that one? Or that one? Hmm. Does that one have a... It doesn't have a castle in it, so this one will be easier to offload. Alright, we'll take that one now, so you guys can start moving in there as well. 14th of July. You guys aren't going to be needed. How many troops you got? 13. Don't know where they are. Involved in any other wars? Nope, just that one war. Okay. Cool story. Let's wait for about the... Yep, that doesn't matter. Okay, good stuff. Hi. Also hi. Um, this one... We'll just make this one a conquest. So what's this one called? Um, Varigana. That one right there. Hi. And this one up here... Looks like you're already in a bit of a rough state. But, uh, yeah. Hi. It's a... Uh, it's a holy war. We already have like 97% with this guy, with Shura. That's pretty funny. If he sends me a peace offer, I'll totally accept it. Princess Grimer is a bit ill. Stop that. Hmm. Stable Master and a Courtier are having a bit of an issue. Seems like a them problem, really. Sweet. Thank you. That's absolutely fine. And we're at 52% with the Rebellion, too. Oh. Now, the question is, actually, do I want to take that peace offer? Because I would very much ya like Yaltaik to win that. Now, he's fighting against Shura and Gupta. I can't really do much about Gupta. Eh. Let's see, actually. 
Yeah, he doesn't really have enough troops. Fuck it. I mean, I help him out all the damn time and they usually let me down, so bugger it. <sighs> Come on. Very good. Just a quick one in here. Allocate these out. And then we're actually going to give it to Duchess Halfred. He's now the proud owner of that place as well. Congratulations. Now. Try and intercept that army just to deal with it. I don't even know which way it's going, to be honest. Uh, it should be coming towards us. Yep, all good. <laughs> hmm, looks like we're not going to have a fight. Oh, looks like I've produced a child. Sort of sorry, not sorry. Alright, 17th of September, that's cool. How are we doing up here anyway? Yep, nice, nice. Oh, she's... Just had a kid and she's still trying to like flirt with me, so I will say something clever. Okay, 63%. Let's head up to that one and get that one sorted as well. Uh, yep. Sure. Nothing like celebrating the birth of your child by cheating on your husband. Am I right? I don't, I don't know. That really is not something I'd be interested in doing. Got a huge monthly balance now because at least all, all three of our revenues have actually capped out. Nice. Okay, look, they're running away. That's fine by me. 16%, 67%. That's cool. Right, I would like these guys to actually come up this way because we're going to have to take some land off Gupta in a second. And Gupta is usually allied with Pala. Also, we've got nobody else down here to declare war on. Except Delhi, but like... Really hoping to split Delhi like all over the place. Before we go to war with them. Oh, hello. News from China. Intending to enforce their subjugation as a tributary state of the Shun Empire, the Protector General Kung Lang Zai of the Western Protectorate has declared war upon Mendenpal Karkota. Han armies are already marching towards the realm of Maharaja Mandapal, and it seems possible that this spells the end of Karkotan independence. So he declared war on these dudes. On Karkota. Making him a tributary state. Yeah, well, sucks to be him. He is in no state to deal with that. Yep, Sigborn born with child of another man. That's this one right here. Quite easy to get that one murdered, but also a genius. Hmm. In prison? No. What about your mum? Can I imprison your mum? I absolutely can. Don't really want to, though. She's got cramps and is depressed, so, you know, she knows what she did. <laughs> wow. Alright, come on. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. 
Good, Siege Vow at 75%. Is that as much as we can get with that? No, it's not. I haven't seen this person's, like, armies, so... That's worrying. How's their war with their boss going? They're, they're winning that. Somehow. Okay. So what are we going to take off Gupta? Bihar is the Guptan Kingdom, I think. Yep. It's the only one he's got. So we need to take this one, this one, or this one. So which one's biggest? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so we'll take um Damn it. Magadha. Off of him. It's fine, we'll come in there and sort of work our way down like that. That'll be cool. And these guys will be here to sort of work their way along both sides of the... Uh, what is this, the Ganges? Yep, the Ganges. Castle walls were built in strangeness. Keep it up. Fifteen more points towards a military. Got a son. Um, looks like I'm gonna sleep with this one again. That's fine. Kidnapped a lot of people, also fine. We're at 92% against that rebellion. Oh, we have a peace offer from the rebellion. And it's a surrender. Done. That prevents her from... Um, well, actually, that's interesting because she's decided that existence is less preferable to uh, giving in to her vassal lord that she was rebelling against. So, yeah, very interesting uh, decision that that one's made to voluntarily give everything up. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's still 59 titles, which must mean... ah. Well, it means that this guy's going to probably declare victory shortly, because while we should have been given that, I feel, because he's one of our dudes, yes he is. Awesome. Well, do we have any castles? We do have castles. One castle. Let's deal with this then. I hate it how it does that sometimes. Technically, those those are totally occupied by me. Congratulations, buddy. Um, yeah, and I can't take the um, ducal title from her yet because she's still at war. So we'll just give these, this guy the two counties, which is... What's that? Mahoba? And done. Damn all. Sorry, part of it was being covered up. Looks like an ND, not M O. All right, cool story. You can get up there. You can get over there. Yeah, our guy should diplomatically explain. Uh, we do a threat. Let's get rid of that real quick. Thank you. Still at war down here. That's fine. Yep. Wonderful. Mm. 
like you have lost thank you now I can get that title uh, does your the duchy create and I'm actually going to give it to this guy I feel like he deserves it because you know he basically did all the work on his side kind of and he can have the other guy as well good work mate you syphilitic lunatic might not have been the best thing to give him that uh, that idea okay Come on, lads. Fourteen thousand, that is absolutely fine. How are our truces going? No, no, no. There we go. Yep. Okay, cool. And <laughs> how's your shit going over here, Carcotta? Have you lost yet? He hasn't lost yet. In fact, bizarrely, he's still at 0% war score. Don't quite know how that's happened. Oh, we have lost our marshal. Yep, you'll do. Get back up here and train the troops. Good work, lads. Keep it up. That one might just take some time. Which is fine. Alright, you. Um, we're fighting you now. And we were taking that place. Hmm. Head on in there. And then you can head on in there. And you might as well head on down there. Thank you. Says he's got an army, but I don't see it. Pay the money. Alright. That guy did move out of the way, so let's just go up there and beat him up. <coughs> so we've joined in on a siege already in process. Again, absolutely fine. Oh, we got a fight. We don't care about those alliances that they keep spamming me with. Yeah, zero percent. Okay, sure, cool, great. Yeah, you look like the same dude. You don't don't look like you've been murdered yet. Nope. You don't look like you've been killed yet either. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Nope, okay, cool. What about you, Pala? Yeah, you look like you're still the same dude. You are. Wonderful. I wonder if you guys can hear that bird outside right now. Very, very loud. A um, masked lapwing, I believe. Real dickheads of birds, those ones are. We had a siege going down there? Like, okay. Pretty cool story, I guess. Still Catholic. Who did you just declare war on? Oh. Wait, no. Most of those are me. That one. He's attacking Pala for like. This bit in here, actually. For that and that. Alright, well, good on him. Oops. Thank you. 
a little bit arrogant. Um, that's fine. It's got reason to be arrogant. Okay, you guys can actually go to this one here. We'll take care of business there and then move on. Speaking of taking care of business, though, we have hit that time of the uh, episode where it's at half an hour. So, well, I've got to say it, but I've been sub. You've been yourselves. Later.